many, many years ago, um, people realised that if you make coal very hot and gas come off, and these gases can then be burnt to create light or to create heat. Uh, moving coal around, of course, it's heavy. You know, you carry it on sacks on your back. We're looking back 120 years, right? But of course, gas can move around in pipelines. And this gas that was made from coal is called town gas because we used it in the town. But basically, it's syngas or it's gasification products from coal. And it is mostly hydrogen, let's say 50% hydrogen. There's some carbon monoxide in there and there's some carbon dioxide in there. OK, often there's a lot of other stuff that you don't really want to know about, like NOx and SOx and VOCs and whatever. But <laughs> in terms of the good stuff that's in there, it's, it's, it's hydrogen and, and CO. So that's town gas. And, um, you know, gas plants in, in many, many cities were, were run on coal for many, many years to make town gas. And town gas has moved around in cast iron pipes. In Hong Kong, the town gas today is made from imported LNG and naphtha. Naphtha is, a, is like gasoline and LNG liquefied natural gas. And these two hydrocarbons are run through um, basically a steam methane reformer. Um, to make the town gas. And what's really interesting about the facility in Hong Kong is they partially remove the CO2 using the Benfield process, which is a, like a CO2, double tower CO2 removal process. Now that CO2 is then blown to atmosphere to make sure there's no CO2 in the town gas. But of course, in the future, you can decarbonize this process by putting that CO2 into a carbon capture system. And effectively, you've got blue town gas <laughs> running through Hong Kong. So great. You know, what a lesson for so many other cities around the world importing LNG, um, importing refined products. We can decarbonize the, um, the gaseous energy system.